Hello, yes, Tommy Robinson's lies and deceit can't go on forever. That's right. You see, more and more people now are messaging me and they're now understanding what I'm saying and what Tommy Robinson is doing. They can see it's all an act. It's all about him being supposedly persecuted everywhere he goes they're out to get tommy even in jail they're out to murder him i mean people actually believe that baloney i think nick griffin believed it and while i'm on about nick griffin he's adopted the opinion now that if you can't beat them let's join them you know exactly what tommy robinson is and you're trying to court favor now with his supporters it's appalling what you do but no one's going to fall for these can see right through you're the most transparent fucker i've ever known but anyway so people can now see Tommy Robinson. It's all about this image he's creating where he's persecuted, but it can't go on forever because the longer this goes on, the more he's showing his hand and as well as his controller's hand, right? He's showing himself, right? You can see what he's doing. Patriot of the month he is now. And uh, he's literally the guest on every media outlet you can think of and what for what for is he a member of parliament no does he lead a political party that has elected officials at local national and european level well no yes you would think you would think and believe this man had the mandate of millions tens of millions when he doesn't he doesn't, right? He has a Facebook page. And don't forget, them statistics on Facebook pages or YouTube channels can be uh, fiddled with. Like mine is, I don't get a few hundred uh, views or a thousand. Half of Liverpool's watching my videos, let alone outside of Liverpool, right? Everyone want to see watches them, right? So I don't get a few hundred. But the uh, statistics below will show you that I do. And obviously someone's messing with them. But anyway, I can live with that. I don't care. And also... Also, the cat's out the bag now with all this. Regardless who believes me and who doesn't, I will be proven right. Trust me, I will. In fact, everything I've said, everything I've said has came true, hasn't it? Everything, right? The whole lot, everything. Everyone that I've named and shamed, they've delivered and they've shown their hand, like with the BMP when I tried to warn Nick Griffin. Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson were trying to take it off him. I warned them for at least five years and the soft, soft fucker took no notice of me. You know, oh Christ. We should have now an up and running BMP ready now to take on the establishments, right? Because they're going to bring UKIP down now, you know that. That's why they're sending Tommy Robinson in. But they're building them up first, aren't they? Like some Joan of Arc or a male equivalent, you know what I mean? And they're building them up now. Right? They're building them up. Right? With this persecution. Tommy! Persecution. They're going to murder them in jail. And there's a massive public relations machine behind this. The mass media and all the MI5 agents that work in the mass media for the security services. Tommy Robinson's own uh, PR machine, the uh, rebel media and all the other YouTube channels, Facebook pages, Twitter accounts. Right? Let me just say something to you now. The infiltration into the white nationalist movement and, and populist movement like UKIP is probably staggering. I'd be shocked. There's not one, two. There's hundreds. There's literally hundreds of them, right? But Tommy Robinson, his lies and deceit can't go on forever. It, they just can't. And when the cracks begin to show, people will, will remember what Joe Owens has been saying. I get a few messages, people say, well, how do you cope with all this, Joe? Because you're just a one-man army, you're just in the wilderness by yourself. Well, I am, but I'm a strong individual, right? And I know I'm right. That is what drives me on. I know I'm right. And also, to fight some of the lows I get into, I'll get up of a morning, I'll get me cold shower, and I mean cold. I don't mean lukewarm, I mean Baltic. And then I'm off the gym. And then I'm all revitalised again to come back and do some videos. So I'm a tough cookie, trust me, and I'm going nowhere. But Tommy Robinson, your lies and deceit can't go on forever because you've got Joe Owens here watching you. Okay, thank you. 
Hello, I'd like to continue where I left off. You've just viewed a screenshot of a report that featured in the Guardian newspaper. I'm not quite sure of the date, I'll leave the link below. And the headline is obviously self-explanatory. Over a five year period, the police paid, paid informants 20 million pounds over a five year period. These would be low level to high level snitches, that would be uh, snitching on the criminal community and whatever. 20 million pounds, right, over a five year period. Now given what we're involved in and given what we're up against, can anyone really believe there's one or two agent provocateurs in our movement to destroy, discredit it, say silly things, associate it with violence and so on and so on. Can anyone really believe there's just a few dozen? Christ, there'll be hundreds across the country, even if that's only low level ones like opening up a YouTube channel, Facebook page, Twitter account, just spreading disinformation and nonsense, even if it's only them, then you'll have the higher ones further up and so on and so on. And also, given who we're up against, the likes of George Soros, the security services, who will have a bigger budget than your average PC plot, I'm sure. Uh, Nick Lowe's Hope Not Hate, Jerry Gables, uh, Searchlight Magazine, and probably other agencies we're unaware of. Given who we're up against, trust me, there'll be more than £20 million laid aside to derail and stop us. So... This is where our side gets, uh, it gets bamboozled and that I can't believe the enormity of the infiltration. Now, I'm not saying everyone's an agent provocateur in the movies, of course they're not, right? I'm co of course they're not. But when you look back, Nick Griffin, Richard Edmonds and many other veteran nationalists, there was probably an agent provocateur or even more in every branch up and down uh, Britain, wouldn't they? From Liverpool to London, from London to Glasgow to wherever. There'd have been informants in every branch. So how many would that have been? Well, exactly. And this is what you've got to remember. And also, those out to destroy us and Western civilization, they know what's at stake should they lose, just like we do. Right? So trust me, they will be using all at their disposal to derail us and stop us. So don't anyone tell me there's just a few, there's a handful. Tommy Robinson alone, the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, the Tommy Robinson Public Relations Machine, you'd be shocked how many was behind that and its budget. Okay, thank you.